Pete, hey dude, happy Sunday everybody, it's game time, hopping on over here, let's get that Vandal Hearts on, and we got another chapter to begin, how's it going, happy Sunday again, how was your Saturday, how was the rest of your day and night? that there we go oh boy I am pumped to continue more I think we can yep we can skip that go to load game and also today we're gonna be try streaming in the Vandal Hearts channel on Twitch just to see if uh, maybe there's some OG veterans or just fans of the game that want to come by. So, something I like to do, switch it up between the actual game and the retro channel. So, maybe later too we could try changing over there. Um, so, the only thing I want to check before we get into everything, um, I need to view characters status. There we go. So, Ash can't... Oh, hold on one moment before we get super into things. I need my manual. I need my manual. My manual. My baby. Because it gets important. I'll show you guys when we get there. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This ain't Pokemon. Captain Rex, right, right. Nah, this kid's cooler. He actually gets over in this game. I, I, I hope. We'll see. We'll see. Anyways, now the page that I want to find. Here we go. Let me see if I can show it. I need to consider the uh, job advancements because you know there's the starting class and then it branches off into one that you commit to so you know I don't want any characters to overlap or anything but I believe the hero Ash he gets his own uh, he gets his own like special class at the end also 69 dudes love it hype Finkelroy hello hello um, rest of the day, got some video games in. Actually, I was going to post it in Discord. 69, dudes! I did not make the announcement yet, but I did beat Xeno Crisis yesterday. I got a run-in. I was able to beat it. It was so good. It felt so righteous. I learned kind of the strat how to beat the last level. I finally was able to put the pieces together. Um, final boss was sweet. Yeah, I got my magic cards all sorted, too. From like the rares and mythics to the Zilla cards, the lands, the tokens, and then kind of sorted between the commons of, you know, mountain, swamp, etc., etc., multicolored. And then I got all the lands in their own specific category, so I got them all in a, in a fat pack box that was empty. I have one that was empty back in the day. Uh, oh, yeah. This was kind of right where I stopped, but the uh, Mirrodin besieged. Slightly after the uh, Eldrazi, or it was in that Eldrazi block. Oh shit, knocking stuff over. That's alright. Again, Finkeroy, hello. Hope you're doing good. With that cool dying camel emote. But yeah, so beat Xeno Crisis. That was awesome. Uh, played some Outrunners, because I was like, eh, I haven't played that in a while, and I finally learned how to beat Outrunners. I'm almost consistent. And again, that's probably like my favorite OutRun game. Um, the big kicker is when you're playing that game, there's a choice between uh, manual and automatic. I usually went automatic to make it easier, but then uh, yesterday I was like, I'll try out manual. And it worked perfect. Caleb. Oh yeah, there's plenty of Caleb. Go check out those commands, dude. There is a uh, specific like blood fresh supply uh, portion on the command list 
and there's a few of the Caleb, there's a few of the Cultist, and a few of the Zomboys. So, there you go. So knock yourself out and enjoy those. Blood was so much fun. It was great. Okay, so no one's level 10 yet. Ash is close, so I'm not going to really worry about needing to backtrack. So we can just continue the, the main story right now. Port City is where we are off to. Um, so yeah, did that. So I definitely can get... Uh... Oh, man, every time this game... Hunt Showdown, Kappa. No, uh, Lockdown... Lockdown? Gun down? This game keeps getting me every time. I think it's called Hunt Down. Yeah, it's Hunt Down. Um, I think I might buy that on Switch here pretty soon. Because really want to play that. I really, really do. Um, and then I watched a movie with my brother. So, it was pretty good. Anyways, let's get back into the game here. Ash. We need to find a ship to take us to Gabaris Island. Let's go to the tavern and ask around. Oh, you got the Ghostbusters remastered? Nice. Did you uh, did you get into it yet or just uh, download it? Hmm. It's strange. Last time I was here, this was a lively and bustling port city. Oh. Oh. We got another place to shop and check things out. Welcome, what can I do for you? Seems more of the basic, uh... Same stuff we've seen before, nothing new. So another shop. Um, I did learn, by the way, what the mushroom was. I was antsy about it, I looked it up today. The mushroom is like a poison-based item that you can poison. I might see if I can... Here, I'm gonna go back and see if I can sell it. Oh, you played the intro? Ooh, nice. Coupon on Epic. Score. There you go. That's awesome. You get to pick which Ghostbuster that you want to play. How much would you sell this for? Ooh, 200 ain't bad, but I'd rather probably hold on to it. Oh, you played the PS2 version back in the day. Apparently it's different. I hear it's good. I've heard nothing but positive things about it. Um, let's go to the tavern and see if anyone's here. Maybe we can recruit someone. Bartender. A ship? I don't think you'll have much luck. The pirate, Hassan, oh god, Hassan, has been prowling this area recently. Everyone's so afraid that all trade has been brought to a halt. Ooh, a nameless new recruit. Excellent. A relative of mine lives on Gabaris Island, but all contact's been cut off because of that damn pirate. I hope he's okay. A monster is living in the sand dune near town. Pirates in the sea and monsters in the sand. What's next? You tell me. Wait a minute. There is one chance. Nah, forget it. He'd never do it. Tell me. What? Well... His name is Grog Drinkwater. He was a great sailor once, but his younger brother was killed by Hassan the Pirate, and he hasn't been the same since. Let's go have a talk with this fellow, Grog. Okay, I guess we're going to Grog's house. And before I needed to save... Oh, 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 boy. Grog's hitting the Grog's. Symbolic. Good lord, man. Excuse me? This guy was actually in the demo build that you would see, too. Anybody home? I'm coming in. Man, this place stinks of wine. You bust into my place, and then mouth off? 
the PS2 version has more puzzles and freezes your PS2 every couple hours, despite making you wait up to 45 minutes to save your progress. That doesn't sound like a fun experience. Sorry. We knocked, but no one answered. Stupid punks. I didn't answer because I didn't want to be bothered. Well, we're here anyway. We want to hire you and your ship to take us to Gilbaros Island. Of course, we will pay you handsomely. Gilbaros Island? Even you strangers must have heard the rumors of Hassan the Pirate. If you don't want to die, you'll forget about going there. We're not leaving until you agree to take us. Oh boy. Oh boy. How are we going to do this one, Ash and friends? Come on already. We'd never make it there. We can protect you from those sea dogs. Okay. I'll make a deal with you. If you guys are strong enough to defeat the monster living in the sand dunes outside of town, I'll think about it. Okay, it's a deal. Ash! You don't even know what the heck it is! Loving it. We're gonna go fight the Salark Pit. Don't get your fool selves killed. Back to drinking. They call you the new kid because they don't want to get too attached to you. They seem to have a, a Star Trek red shirt situation. Ah, okay. So, I guess the thing I'm curious of with this Ghostbusters game, Finkelroy, is where does it, like, fall in the timeline? I'm assuming it would be, like, an unofficial Ghostbusters 3. Alright. Let's, I guess, drop a save, for that matter. Um, go over this one. So we're going to leave town. And then sand, sand dunes of sea. Oh, you and the lady? Had a good time? Enjoyed the D-spot? Oh yeah, enjoyed those D-spot wings later last night. And had a little bit of the bubbly. <laughs> Dude, that was too good, man. You worked my brother into an oblivion when you said that one-liner. That was great, Pete. Good old Jericho. Oh, another thing I did last night was um, I watched another Dark Side of the Ring. I do what I can. I saw the Brawl for All Dark Side of the Ring, and holy hell, holy hell, my heart goes out to Bart Gunn and a few of the other guys. I mean, everyone and anyone in there, but that was, that was one of the weirdest things ever. I could not believe that story, that idea, uh, yeah, dude. And he won! He beat the hell out of JBL! It was amazing! But the price to pay, dude, was terrible. And I think Bart Gunn could have been really cool if he had the right tools and the right people. I think he could have been great. It would have been fun to see him feud with Austin if they did it right. You know, try to maybe Ken Sham Shamrock him up a bit, you know? Or, like, get Dan Severin. But... It sucks. Oh, they adapted the Ghostbusters 3 script to the game. It was written by the same guys who wrote the movies. Ooh, maybe that would be like an October game then. It sounds tempting. I love Ghostbusters. I still got to play the, uh, not the, not the, any, the NES one we've played in experience, but the, uh, I believe, because we've played the Sega one. That one was pretty cool. There's a, like, a Europe-Japanese Ghostbusters one that's more chibi that, uh... uh let me see here. So we're, we're slacking on the, uh, on the Vandal Hearts right now, just enjoying the conver conversation. It's the European Ghostbusters. Yeah, Ghostbusters 2 is what it's called. Hal Laboratory made it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah! It's pretty cool. Yeah, dude. I feel bad for Bart Gunn. So bad. And, uh, I feel a little bad for the Godfather, Papa Shango, dude. Loses to Dan Severin. 
Dan Severin drops out of the tournament because he felt kind of wrong about it. And then he gets back in it and just Bart Gunn beats Bob Hawley, beats Dr. Death, beats Papa Shango, right? I think it was Papa Shango. Or no, I think it was first Bob Hawley, Papa Shango, then it was Dr. Death. Because Dr. Death was like the big one that everyone was like, we want him to win. But then Bart Gunn beat him, and that was awesome. Or maybe, uh, I'd have to look at the bracket again. But then at the end, he fights that that JBL. It's crazy, dude. It's crazy. Anyways, let's get back into Vandal Arts here. Huxley speaking. Oh, the sand is killing my flat feet. I told you not to come along. By the way, what kind of monster is it? Huh? huh? There's something moving under the sand. Oh, Steve Blackman? Dude. And again, like the idea, the winner gets 75,000 bucks. So that's nice for Bart Gunn. And he was supposed to, you know, the winner was supposed to fuse or feud with Austin. That would have been awesome. But crazy, man. Crazy stuff again. Like I told my brother about that. He's going to tune into that one. Normally 25 bucks. Hey, that ain't bad. Uh, about for maybe seven months. Any cheaper than five bucks. Oh, yeah. That's a pretty good deal. Pretty good. Unless a crazy steam sale kicks in. Oh, no! It's a bug! I detest bugs! All right. Time for a little battle. Defeat the monster. All right. Interesting. So this is going to be kind of like a... We're kind of fighting a boss if you think about it. Um, I don't know how the death ant operates. So, here, first of all, this is gonna be our battle save. There we go. Um, how far can we attack for... There we go. Cool. Probably got to take out these kind of uh, claw hands and arms. All right, probably get Ash to move up more. Kind of like right there. Is there anything worth examining, by the way? Nope. Ooh, she might be able to... Nice. This guy might be pretty easy. Sucks though about Kira. I got that feeling she's the plant. Oh, sure. Who knows? Who knows? Okay, uh, call that our turn. Let's see how this guy operates. Ah, he spawns more. Interesting. Okay. And then how do they move around? Ah, neat. Neat, neat, neat. Let's see, what I kind of want to do, though, is try to fight these guys for more EXP. That's, that's the dream here. That's the drive. But I'm afraid if it poisons, then I'm going to have to go for the boss. Yeah, they're doing a trilogy remaster. Something like that. Saw the trailer for it. Whoa! Yo, that's cool! Holy shit, 41? Damn. Yeah, I'm going to have to go for this boss. We're gonna have to aim for its head. Yep, absolutely. All right, I'm gonna do uh, ice storm. I'm not too worried about Clint though. I can heal him. We got our healer. 
Oh, that was good. Pretty good damage. The thing, though, that I'm a little partially worried about, though, is, like, this guy could easily get killed, but... Hmm. Because I still want to get kind of rid of these hands as well. I want to protect Huxley as well. Whoa, defense up as well. The only thing I, I kind of fear, though, is if this guy is going to go for uh, Huxley. I know for sure she can take out that guy. But yeah, I can say for sure I really enjoyed Mafia 2. Still want to play 3 someday. And the first one for that matter. Never got to play the first one. Um, I got an idea. Let's see how much the herb heals uh, Clint for. Should be like a good 50. 41. There we go. Yeah, he's cool. He's cool. So then... What if... You do that. Action magic. Mystic shield. Okay, so move here. Action magic. Mystic shield. Not far enough. So move up here. Action magic. Mystic shield. Defense up. Yeah, I kind of want to just kill this guy. <laughs> All right. Dark star. There'll probably be ways to grind up more as well. Hey, a level up! Good stuff. Good stuff. I like you. Alright, uh... Guess that's gonna be your in battle save. Next time I'm gonna save it beforehand. Because everyone should be able to survive. You love the third one. Yeah, hopefully that will go down with the remaster. Speaking of remasters, I am stupid excited for uh, Destroy All Humans coming out this summer. That remaster as well. Yeah, dude, in the Tony Hawk 1 and 2 remaster, we're getting we're getting quite a few. This is crazy. Lots of remasters. I would not even be surprised too if um, there's still this uh, supposed crash announcement, and I think it's going to be uh, they're going to do a crash bash. HD remaster. We'll see what happens. Come on, Clint. Oh! 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 That's right, water. Stupid. I'm dumb as fuck. That's how that death hand feels right now. Alright, what do I want to do here? Big guy can't move again, right? Um... Ooh! Nice. I'll have to let my brother know on that one. Alright, so I'm going to probably heal him up. I want to see if I can farm just a little bit more EXP as well.
don't think Diego's gonna be able to... Oh, he might, he might. No, close, but no cigar. All right. Next bet would be right there. He's almost dead too, so... Huh. He can't do anything. Literally toast. Because this guy's going down regardless. Um, probably... Oh, ooh, what do you got here now? Spellbind, hold magic. Ooh! It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Ah, the good old epic exclusive. I mean, that's with me right now with Hunt Down, but... Gonna get it on the Switch. Reviews sound good on it, so... Alright, level 8 and a level 8. I want Diego to kind of get the priority if possible. Ooh, that's not good. That's not good. He's not going to be able to hit him from up there. Because of the range. Look at that. Too tall. Alright. See what happens. 12. He might hit, he might chunk good. Ooh, that, oh man, that sucks. That sucks big time. I'm gonna have to try something a little desperate here. It might help give him support. Should not have attacked. See what happens. Because uh, we still might get a good block. He should still have that defense boost for uh, blocking. So I'm hoping. I'm hoping. If not, we gotta reload. But we'll see. We'll see. Come on, Clint. Give us the big, bo big boy block again. The big boy block. We need the big boy block. Oh no, Grandpa! Huxley! Hmm. Child's play. Child's play. That's right. Okay. Oh, he's moving. He's moving. He's moving and busting a grooving. Oh no, he's going for his back. Goodbye, Clint. I might have to reload. Yep. Gotta reload. Even though he says he's gotta fall back, I don't know what that means. Like, uh, memory card, there we go. That'll save. We ain't too far behind either. We just won't get Clint to attack that next time. Because then all I gotta do is just end my turn and do our, do our attack, so. Anyways, uh, yep, turn over. Let that go. Live and learn, live and learn. They're all going in on them. I wonder if uh, the ant is actually going to go for Ash this time. But yeah, um, actually going back to uh, Hunt Down, I'm debating whether or not for uh, I'm planning to stream Tuesday, and I'm debating what we wanna what we wanna do. You know, I could even make it a a longer stream, and we could play a bit of Heroes and try out some Hunt Down. We'll see. I still want to see if, like, Hunt Down is a game that... I feel like it's more of, like, your uh, Contra running gun. So I want to see how long that game takes, too. We'll see. The possibilities are endless. Alright, so... Everyone's getting pretty hurt right now. The big thing is, I need to take him down. She can attack. and get them, so we'll keep that in mind. 
And the two of them could probably kill. Probably gonna heal up Clint. And we'll go from there. Annihilator! Hello! Hello, everybody. Appreciate that host. Sad dude. We playing the Vandal Arts. There we go. Ooh, StarCraft 2? Nice, nice. Are you playing just online multiplayer? Thank you, Bulk and Skull. Welcome, Raiders. Ah, nice. What uh, what rank are we dancing at? Platinum, the diamond. Ooh, custom games, too. Zone control. Nice. Yes, yes. That's exciting. Okay, hold the man, do the old healing on Clint. And then Kira will go in for the, uh, for the kill. We'll see. It might, might be close. 13. Mmm, alright. Everyone's health is pretty adequate. The only person I worry about is Ash, so... We'll see what happens. I'm gonna do this as the battle save. Hey, you gotta go? Sounds good. Appreciate the carry of the torch. The handoff. Have a good rest of your Sunday, my dude. Oh yeah, go eat something, man. Go recharge your batteries. Enjoy your night. Hey, you can do that. Thank you, Annihilator. She is. There you go, Clint. Clean. 30 points. Ah, gets the level up. Alright. We'll take it. I mean, again, that's kind of what it was. It was more of a boss battle. Yeah. You don't get too much EXP out the little, uh, the little hands. Alright, Grog. I never thought you guys were really going to do it. So that means you'll take us now, right? Oh boy. Oh boy. Let me sleep on it, okay? Sleep on it? Y you promised! Hold on. Bye! We'll accept your answer tomorrow, but let me just say one thing. Whoever it is you've lost, drinking won't bring them back. Just remember that. Oof. Oof. That's the deepest knife cut right there. Ugh. Little brother. I'm sorry. That hurts, man. That hurts. All right, I'll take you. Thanks a lot. I thought about what you said, and you were right. More friends! Ooh, 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 ooh. The ship's docked just out of town. Uh, 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 um, let's see what Krog's got cooking. Here, hold on. Leather helm, short sword. 
we can get him new stuff. Light Helm. And then Padded Leather. And then... I'm doing it. We're going to buy a Fire Gem, and we're going to give it to Grog, just in case. Because you never know if I got to use this Fire Gem in my back pocket. Might be cool. Uh, we can get also one more Elixir. Let's give it to... Clint. And an Herb to Clint. All right. Sweet. All right. Just gonna double check on the on the dojo. Oops, pressing too many buttons. So let's see here. Heroes his own, and then now I have two soldiers. So, oh, and we're kind of following the order here. Yeah, there's gonna be a few more guys we get too at the end. We get quite a few guys, holy hell. Um, let's see here. So, I'm thinking, uh, hmm, just from peeking right now, Ash is going to be his own thing. Clint, I will probably make him more of the, uh, I think we're going to make him a guardsman. Uh, Diego, I kind of want to make him a hawk knight. Uh, Eleni is a mage. Ooh. So she can become a sorcerer or a monk. We'll probably keep her as a sorcerer. Uh, Huxley will make him a monk into a ninja, because why the hell not? Maybe that would be funny. But, I mean, a bishop could be good. We'll see. Uh, Kira will, will make her the bowman. And then Grog will make him a swordsman for now till we get uh more there and then um i guess i'm gonna look this up while we're hanging out here at the screen